Good evening from London. Travel and leisure stocks were leading the rises on the FTSE today as restrictions on pre-departure testing for passengers flying into England are set to be lifted. British Airways owner International Consolidated Airlines Group was trading up 4.26% and tour operator TUI was ahead by 4.28%. Microsoft has beat expectations in the latest quarter with revenue and profit increasing by a fifth amid robust demand for its services from companies and consumers. In the three months to the end of December, revenue climbed to $51.7 billion. Net income rose to $18.8 billion. Microsoft is valued at $2.2 trillion US dollars. The trading update comes a week after the technology giant agreed to buy games developer Activision Blizzard for $68.7 billion. The £1.9 billion National Express takeover of Stagecoach is facing an investigation by the UK's competition regulator. The Competition and Markets Authority said it had served a so-called initial enforcement order, which prevents the transport firms from selling off any UK assets. Stagecoach confirmed the firms will engage with the CMA to allow the planned sale to be completed as soon as possible. Both companies agreed to an all-share merger last month in a deal that will create a combined company with a a fleet of roughly 40,000 vehicles and a workforce of 70,000 people. Klarna is to launch a credit card in the UK, allowing customers to use its buy now, pay later service at high street stores as well as online. The Swedish fintech company said the move would give consumers the flexibility to pay for purchases later without the inherent risk of interest and revolving credit. The decision has raised concerns among debt charities who have warned that buy now, pay later services encourage people to spend beyond their means. Those are your main stories from London at close of business.